Did you know that you can send up to 10 audio outputs of tracks and control your entire production via MIDI with your iOS device using only one piece of hardware? I'm going to show you how the iConnectivity Play Audio 12 is the simplest and most powerful interface solution for running tracks with our iOS app Playback. With just this one interface, you can use the full potential of Playback's audio outputs, MIDI in control, and MIDI out functionality to control lyrics, lights, and more. My full Play Audio 12 setup includes the audio interface and its USB cable, an Apple Lightning to USB camera adapter, an Akai LPD8 MIDI controller, and an Ethernet cable. If you already own a different audio interface, you can still use the full power of Playback's capabilities just with a couple more USB accessories. To see a walkthrough of how to do this, check out the video in the description below. Now let's plug everything in. We're going to want to connect our iOS device running playback into the USB 1 port of the Play Audio 12. We're going to do this using the USB cable that came with the Play Audio 12 and the Lightning to USB adapter. Now you'll see that when I plug this into playback, playback automatically registers that it's plugged into the Play Audio 12 with a prompt that pops up. I can also simultaneously charge my iOS device using this adapter. Next, we're going to connect the LPD8 into the Play Audio 12's USB host port. Finally, we're going to take our Ethernet cable and plug it into the Ethernet port in the back of the Play Audio 12. And you'll see that we've already run our 10 quarter inches out of the audio outputs of the Play Audio 12. Now let's get our audio up and running. If your Play Audio 12 is in its default state and the firmware is up to date, you don't have to do any routing prior to connecting to playback. We just need to make sure that the volumes for our outputs are turned all the way up. So let's look at the front panel and press each of the numbered pairs on the front, lighting them up to be orange. This indicates that both outputs in each pair are now selected and controllable by the volume knob. I'm going to go ahead and play a song in playback and adjust the volume until it's at a desired loudness for front of house. And you can see on the volume meter in the front that as I turn up the volume knob, it shows that there's a lot more volume going out of the outputs. Now let's look at connecting our MIDI controller. By plugging it in, we are now able to map controls on the LPD-8 to features of playback. I chose the LPD-8 for this video because its number of buttons and knobs make it a great companion for playback's mappable features, like song tiles, the start button and the fade out button, and the track faders for volume control. However, most MIDI controllers are capable of controlling playback. So I'm going to switch into MIDI map mode, and I'm going to map the top four pads on the LPD-8 to the four song tiles. I'm going to map the bottom left pad to the play button, and the next pad to the fade out. I'm going to go ahead and map the bottom four knobs to the click, guide, drums, and perk faders. Now when I go out of the map mini mode, you can see that I can choose songs, control the fade out button, and press play. And I can also control the volume knobs. Finally, let's make sure our MIDI out buses are routed to the Ethernet port. The Play Audio 12 actually has four possible MIDI ports going out of the Ethernet connection, which lets us separate our MIDI buses between ports to prevent any crosstalk between programs. Since I'm using the Lyrics, Lights, and Patches buses, I'm going to route them out of RTP 1, 2, 3, and 4, which are the Ethernet ports. For owners of older Play Audio 12 models, these ports will actually be labeled USB 9 through 12. These are the exact same ports, but with different names. Playback is now ready to send 10 audio outputs, be controlled by a MIDI controller, and send MIDI cues to lyrics and lights, all using the Play Audio 12. For more information, or a deep dive into setting up playback for MIDI out control, visit multitracks.com slash MIDI out.